LaTeX. When you think of LaTeX, you might think of beautifully typeset mathematics, consistent document structure, or professional-looking fonts. But you might also be reminded of cryptic compiler errors, overfull bounding boxes, and disobedient quotation marks. LaTeX is unbeatable in terms of output quality, but there is room for improvement when it comes to user experience. Of course, there aren't that many good alternatives out there. WYSIWYG editors are even more painful to use for complicated documents, and they can't hope to match the quality of LaTeX. But does it have to be this way? If for some reason you really wanted to, could you use a standard word processor to approximate LaTeX while obtaining an arguably better editing experience? Introducing the WordTech template. The WordTech template includes a selection of styles that look similar to LaTeX. Creating a document is easy. Keyboard shortcuts enable the user to quickly switch styles, and headings and subheadings are automatically numbered. Math can be inserted with the Alt equals shortcut, and since Word supports many LaTeX keywords, creating complicated equations is actually pretty doable. Many standard LaTeX features are supported, including inline code, proofs, footnotes, enormous margins, and yes, if you try really hard, quotation marks that go the wrong way. Now you might be thinking, this must be ridiculously impractical to use for real documents. And yes, sometimes it is. But this hasn't deterred my research into this area. And there are some distinct advantages to using WordTech for typesetting documents, such as saved screen space, built-in illustration tools, and the ability to embed executable programs in your documents. And once you export it to a PDF, the results are almost indistinguishable. In fact, according to a randomized double-blind study, significant indifference has been shown between documents typeset in LaTeX and WordTech. Of course, there are some situations where LaTeX use just cannot be avoided. Some assignments or conferences require the LaTeX source for a submission, and sometimes you need to modify existing LaTeX documents. Fortunately, someone else has already designed a tool to deal with this problem. The open source software Pandoc can convert between a variety of formats, including Word and LaTeX. And using the WordTech plugin, you can quickly run conversions from within your document. Not all formatting is supported, but basic document structure is maintained, including headings, math, and code blocks. Undoubtedly, some people will be opposed to the idea of using a WYSIWYG editor for professional typesetting. They might say that tools like Word can hide formatting errors, and the only way to have complete control over your document is to edit its source directly. These people should be happy to learn that Word files are actually just zipped XML, so you can in fact edit Word tech documents using a text editor, should you so choose. Word tech successfully emulates many LaTeX features, but there is one area where it seems LaTeX should be pretty clearly superior, macros. LaTeX macros are very powerful, in addition to simple text replacement, they can include loops, counters, and conditionals, and are even Turing-complete. Word is often more concise than LaTeX, making macros less necessary, but it would still be really nice to show that Word and LaTeX have the same computational power. Word does have a feature it calls macros, which are programmed in Visual Basic, but I don't think they count. You have to use a special file extension, and looking at the Stack Overflow developer survey, it doesn't seem like a great option. Probably the Word feature that is most similar to LaTeX macros is autocorrect, which performs basic text replacement when keywords are typed, but it's pretty limited. Well, it is possible to simulate a DFA by storing the states as strings and making autocorrect entries that replace a state and a character with the new state. And it's also possible to make a DFA with one stack stored to the left of the state. And... we can make a Turing machine. One last piece of advice. If you do decide to use WordTech, and you decide to use autocorrect to enhance your editing experience, make sure your Turing machines halt.